cyber dogs and fellow minecrafters and fellow mine squatches all over the world. This is Delacaba with Delacaba Presents. Let's play Minecraft 1.88 Riverbend. Riverbend high five with a tater in your face. Because taters is good. Oh, guys, it's been quite some time since I've done a Minecraft video, and I'll tell you, there's been a reason, and that's just I really needed a break from Minecraft. I needed to get away from it for a little while and to have it pick up its shine again. You know, I love Minecraft, and I've had so much fun with it, but I've played it so constantly for, gosh, three years now that it just... It kind of got to the point where it all felt the same, and I just really, really needed to just step away from it for a couple of weeks, and, and huh, it's good to be back. You know, I played some Lingral, uh, this particular super hostile map, and had a lot of fun with my friends, and, you know, I can't wait till the CyberDog server has its uh, new server up so that I can be playing Minecraft with people again, other than, on you know, the occasional bit of Langrel because I'll tell you what, I've realized that it's definitely um, a, a strong, stronger experience for me, a better experience for me, playing when there's other people around, you know, but let's take a look at our inventory here. I think what we need to do is get a few torches up in here so that while we're working, we don't get monstified. Let's see here. I think we'll put one above each of these doors here. So, if you're just joining me for this series, or if it's been a while and you've forgotten what's happening, um, this is Riverbend. Riverbend is an awesome little place I found. It started out as a hardcore map, um, and I started building and kept building, and frankly, the more I built, the more in love with the place I became. And as a result, just found myself not wanting to take the risk of losing it all because of, of how sweet my build was and how much fun I was having doing it. And so I eventually went through the process of converting it to a uh, regular Minecraft map. And what we've been doing here is we've been building a series of structures specifically for our villagers. But what I thought I'd do today is I'd give us a little bit of a tour of Riverbend here and... Uh, then we would we would move on to some other things. But as you can see, Riverbend is completely surrounded by a fence. And this fence is two fences wide. That's to help keep the critters out. We've got uh, a couple of horses here that are actually volunteers. They were in this area when I fenced it in. But you can see it's too wide. And here there's a big bend in the river, hence the name Riverbend. We went on some epic adventures to find ourselves some dark oak and some spruceage and some other things. There's a beautiful flower forest right over on the other side in this magnificent lake. But let's go and let's take a look first of all at our villagers. They happen to be the reason why we're building a lot of the things that we're building from the blacksmith complex over there to the temple garden as well as the monastery library. Um, they're over here and one of the first structures that we created here was this home for our villagers. And let's just come on in and say hello to them. This is uh, Ginger and Gilligan, our golems, who are here to help protect our villagers. Hi, guys. How you doing? It's been a while. But as you can see, we've got three blacksmith sisters. And we have some priests, but we have just a ton of librarians. There's one, two, and up top, I believe we have another five of them for goodness sake. One, two, three, four, and five. And so I, that's the reason I'm building the library. So because we have the different villagers here and we have so many of them, I thought what we'd do is we would build their homes, their structures where they're going to be. So first let's start out here with my home though. This is the Squatch Cave and this whole area here was really wild and overgrown and stuff, and, and it's taken a lot of work to get it going. But we're going to start over here by going into my bedroom and saying hello to the dirty half dozen. 
that includes me, you know, the dirty half dozen. But here we go. We've got Rosie, and we've got Goldie, and we've got Violet, and we've got Blue, and over here we've got Slick. And I brought these guys back after having gone on an epic adventure, and I still need to do some decoration in here. You know, I'm not really good at the furniture stuff, but man, I'll tell you what. My friend iPossum, um, she did some great videos about... Uh, doing furniture and stuff and I think I'm gonna use some of the things she showed in order to furnish this because right now it's looking pretty plain and simple here in the living room I'll tell you but we got the living room with a lovely view out on everything and it's not too bad love all our natural stonework here um, going in here this is the storage facility um, pretty pretty simple I didn't want to get too carried away with it off the bat there will eventually be a basement to this but we just haven't gotten to it yet but this is where we store all our goodies and here's our enchanting area including in here all the books we've enchanted that have various basic things on them that we can stack up um and in here we have the kitchen and the kitchen again is pretty simple and straightforward we've got some basic kitchen storage and over here, of course, our furnaces and a nice countertop. And then this is just a little viewing cubby here so that we can get a look at what's going on out there with the temple garden and stuff. But let's go on up to my favorite part of my build here in my home. You know, all of this I kept relatively simple, but up here, this, I love this up here. Check this out. This is my, my sunroom, my garden room, and we've got a, a sweet-ass waterfall here. And we've got lots of vines. Boy, we had to travel so far to find one teeny tiny little patch of swamp. And that little tiny patch of swamp, it uh, got us sorted out with some vines. And that means we can now do some coarse earth so we can do paths. And here's our... our little tulip garden and this is going to be a lot neater too because when we eventually can get silk touch on something and get us some grass blocks we'll put grass blocks in here and plant them then it won't look quite so so plain but this is kind of a place for us to garden out some vines but here's a place where you can sit with your sweetheart and smoocher and then we got the waterfall and i i really i really like this little space you know, and it's neat also to be able to climb up the vines and, and reach the lights if we need to and that kind of stuff. But let's head on out of here and see just a little bit more of what we've got going on. Now, over here, we've got all our livestock. We've got our horses, and there's our, our mule over there. Go in and say hello to him. How you doing, bud? I haven't seen you for a while, Mr. Mo. That's Mr. Mo. The other horses and stuff, they're not named, but usually I have a dog named Doggis and a, and a burrow named Mo. And this time around, we didn't do Doggis. We uh, instead, you know, we decided to, to go with our names based on, on their collar colors. And we've got our cows, and we've got our sheepies, and we've got our piggies, and our chicken coop. This is a coop built in such a way that usually you can just circle around it like this, and you'll pick up all the eggs along the way. But the first build we did for our villagers, since we have three sisters, um, is we have the Smite Sisters Blacksmithing Complex here. And one of them is an armorer, so here's Smite Sisters Armory. Another one is a toolsmith, so this is Smythe Sisters Tools. And then the third one is an actual blacksmith. Smythe Sisters Metalworks is what we got here. So let's go on in and take a quick look at this. So as you can see, we've got it set up with a, with an awesome chimney set up like that. And we've got ourselves some forges and stuff and the anvil in here. Over here, these are actually going to be showrooms. So all the smithing takes place in the center. And over here is where there's going to be a showroom of tools. And over here, we're going to have a showroom full of all the armor that, that we've taken off the various mobs that we've killed and stuff. And that'll all be stored over here, so that's going to be pretty cool. And the reason that we have the fence gates here is, of course, so that our villagers can't just wander off because they have a bad habit of doing that. Along with Smythe Sisters Metalworks, we've got the Temple Garden over here. And one of the reasons I took my epic journey where we ended up eventually finding that little piece of swamp is I wanted to find some desert and stuff so that we could get some more interesting plants in here. 
And this is built to be kind of a little bit of a zen situation so that when you come in and you look, it gives the impression that there's a forest that goes on for a long time. But we've got our little cactus garden here in the corner. And we've got, these, these were natural water sources that were here when we found this area. And I worked around those to try to preserve them. And over here is the piece de resistance, our rare blue orchid. We'd have to go all the way back to the swamp to propagate the blue orchid. And that's, I think, what our first thing that we're going to do here in, in our new episodes is going to be, is we're going to make a trip into the nether to try to set up some nether portals that will take us to some of the locations we found on our journey. We found a village, and we found a temple, and we found that patch of swamp, and some savanna and stuff, but this is going to be the the monastery, and it's going to have a library here on the lower floor, with a space for each of our seven librarians, so there's one space, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, so all seven of our librarians are going to be in these locations and this is all going to be filled with books this is going to be filled with bookshelves here and we're going to have bookshelves all along the walls here and stuff and we're going to have some big cool windows here they're going to be very neat and then up here this is the place where the monks actually live so this is going to be like their kitchen and dining area where they cook and stuff and then what we're probably going to do is actually complete the walls here on both sides and make these the little dormers and like the head monks will have themselves kind of their own little office spaces here. And so we need to do some work on the roof here and stuff and, and get this finished up. And then there needs to be a lot of accents done. We've got a, a nice little uh, balcony here to come out on. But as you can see, I've done this all out of dark oak and spruce. I'm using the John Smith texture pack. And so I'm definitely going to want to do a bunch of accents to break it up because obviously it's all the same everywhere we look. And that can get pretty boring. So we most definitely want to uh, do some detailing on the outside to help break it up and, and make it look more interesting. Um, we're going to make the roof have high swooping peaks um, very much in the style that uh, my friend Chibi likes to build in. I'm really looking forward to the new CyberDog server so I can hang out with Chibi again. It's been a long time since I've hung out with those guys. And so then next to this, we're going to be building a temple that's going to go here so that we'll have our monks over here, our librarians basically. We're going to have a temple that's going to have our priests. We've got the Smite Sisters smithy there. And then we're going to also build a butcher shop because we do have a, a, a butcher and that's probably going to go here. And I'm not sure what all what we're going to put all in here, but there are going to be some villager houses I'm going to build in here. And we're going to turn this into a proper little village. You know, that's what this originally was when I showed up here. It was a village with a single house, just one house. And the house sat right about here. And that was it. There was nothing else here. And there were just like two villagers or something. Um, we've got our favorite fishing spot, which I'd also like to show you guys. Hello, why are you doing that? I think I'm getting just a touch of lag here or something. There we go. Come on out here. But this is my favorite little fishing spot on the river down over here. like to come down, down here in this spot right here and fish this pool. Because you guys know me, hunting and fishing is a very big part of what I love to do. And we've got just the most wonderful flower forest going on back around this area and we're just gonna take a walk over here to the flower forest but i just wanted to take the time to give you guys a little bit of a tour of the build and remind you what it is we've been working on to let you know that i am back as far as minecraft goes like i said i just i really needed a break from it it had become more of a job than an adventure and and you can see we've got this amazing, amazing um, rift in the ground here. And there's another one off over on that side, which is really cool. But we've got this awesome flower forest going on over here. You can see it's just gorgeous. We've got all kinds of flowers of all different sorts. And I plan on making kind of a gazebo and kind of a little bit of a park thing going over here. 
I also plan on making a dock for our lake that's over here. See? Got this wonderful little lake with some deep water for fishing. And uh, it's just, it's a really neat spot. And right out here where the sandbar comes out, I think is probably where I'm going to do the dock. I'll probably dig out some of this to make sure we've got a good channel and stuff. But I've been thinking that, number one, I need to make a trip into the nether with the right materials to uh, make nether portals that come out to the second village that we found. Here's just the other end of that ravine here. And to uh, that temple complex, as well as um, the place where we found the swamp, because then we can take our one single orchid back there, plant it, and use bone meal on it in the swamp, and we can get more orchids, which I'd really like to do. But we've got so many horses around here and lots of other livestock, and so we're, we're probably going to do something for the horses that's special. But there's a, another ravine over here I'm trying to get to. But it's just, it's been a while since I've played because, like I say, I really needed a break from it. Minecraft had become kind of a grind, and I decided I, I wanted to just take a break, kind of regain my enthusiasm for the game because, you know, when when it ends up kind of all being the same over and over again, time after time, not only is that no fun for me, but that's got to be no fun for you guys too. But let's head on over here. I'll show you the ravine real quick, and then I think I'm going to call this an episode. I'm not going to start any building or, or start our journey into the nether, because that's going to take some preparation. That's for sure. We're going to have to go down into our mine down below, I believe, and get us a bunch of obsidian. But this other ravine here, you can see it's, it's pretty cool. I, I really like it. What I want to do, actually, is I want to connect the stream across. In fact, you know what? Let's Let's do that. I've been meaning to do that for a while. And let's see, I don't have a bucket on me, do I? But I've wanted to do that for a while to connect the stream here. Because, you know, we've got this awesomeness going on here where we've got this waterfall going down and it's been a handy way up and down out of here. And... Um, you can see where it goes down to the other end here. But one of the last things I wanted to show you was the underneath, the great underneath here. You can see that I've actually got a door coming into this ravine from right here. And here on the right side, this leads down into our mine works. But this right here is where our nether portal is. And you can see, I actually had to take and fill all that in up there with multiple layers of dirt and cobblestone and stuff so that we didn't dig through it and fall to our demise when I was doing the uh, the hardcore map play here. But you can see we've got an upper level here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put here, but something will eventually go here. But I wanted the nether portal down here because the sound of the nether portal eventually starts to bug me. But our way down here from up above is here. And you can see that that is our well that we have here outside the house. So there you go, guys. That's just a brief tour of Riverbend. As I said, essentially what we're going to be doing is rebuilding a village here for the villagers that with all kinds of interesting stuff going on. So we can take our individual villagers and we can move them into their various locations, probably using minecarts. Otherwise, we'll use fences and push them along. But then once that happens, if we leave a few villagers in here, what's going to happen is that's going to repopulate with villagers. And at that point, we're going to have a whole bunch more villagers and we might get some more interesting ones with some more interesting trades. And then what we'll do is we'll shift some of them into the houses that we build along here. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. But I'll tell you what, we're coming up on 20 minutes. And so I think we're going to call this an episode. I think I'm going to come on up to this nice peaceful spot up here over by the Tulip Garden. And 
I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me, Delacaba, for this brief tour of my build. Thank you for your patience while I've taken a break from Minecraft to kind of get my enthusiasm back for it. And I'm so happy, you know, it's uh, instead of coming here and feeling like, oh, God, Minecraft again, I feel like, all right, cool. I feel like I'm refreshed and I've got some strong ideas for what I want to do and what to show you guys and stuff. And so I'm feeling pretty positive about it. So thank you for joining me. Delacaba for this adventure of Let's Play Minecraft 1.88 Riverbend. And here's a Riverbend high five with a tater in your face. Because taters is good. Alright guys, I'm out. Peace.